So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna find your network adapter. You wanna double click on it. And then you wanna click on properties. And then you wanna click on internet protocol version four. And now once you're on this, you wanna make sure that you have obtained IP address automatically selected and that you have obtained DNS server address automatically selected as well. So you just wanna keep this on the default, just like how we see on my screen right now. And I click on okay. And I click on okay again. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search again and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And I click on yes. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter. And then you wanna type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. It's gonna ask you to restart your computer, but don't do it yet till you complete the next step in the video. And now once you've done that, now you wanna head over to your web browser that you're having a problem with. You wanna click on the three dots in the top right and then you wanna click on settings. By the way, I'm using Google Chrome for this. If you're using a different web browser, it might look a bit different to what I'm showing you right now, but it's pretty much gonna still be the same. So now once you're in the web browser settings, you wanna scroll down and then you wanna click on reset settings. And I click on resource settings, the original defaults. And I click on reset settings. And now once you complete all these steps, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.